Let's see how to create a complete, yet simple design for your Packly box in Adobe Illustrator. Go to File. Open. Select the file with your Packly die line. Choose to load only the first page and hit OK. If you want to see the die line a little better, select it with the white arrow tool and adjust the width of the stroke. Go to Window. Choose Workspace. Then, Printing and Proofing. You should see your interface change into the layout you're seeing right now. Select any green line and go to Select. Choose Sync. Then Stroke Color. Move to Object. Select Path. Hit Join. In the Layers window, rename your die line layer. Now create a new layer for your artwork. Move the layer you just created below the die line. Select the outside bleed path. Cut it, then paste it in place on the artwork layer. Lock the die line layer by clicking on the small locker icon next to it. While keeping the bleed outline selected, choose a background color for your box. If you wish, you can test different color schemes for your design at this stage. Zoom in. Select a different shade and use the rectangle tool to add a color to the flaps. We advise to zoom in often during the process, to check if everything's perfectly aligned to the path. Make sure the colors reach the outside bleed lines. To apply the same color to the other flap, copy and paste the element you just created. Rotate it by 180 degrees, then make all the necessary adjustments. Go to File. Open. Select the file with your logo. We used a vector file for this tutorial. Copy and paste the logo. Then place the logo on your box by dragging it. To apply an image to your box, create a separate layer. Go to File. Select Place. Select your image. We'll show you how to apply the image to the two opposite sides of the box. First however, check in the links window to make sure your image is at least 200 ppi. Use the rectangle tool to cover the whole side of the box you wish to cover with your image. Go to Object. Clipping Mask, then Make.
Zoom in once again to check if the alignment is correct. You can adjust the clipping mask anytime by dragging its anchor points. With a black arrow, select the resulting object and drag it along the horizontal axis while holding the Alt and Shift keys. When the element is on the opposite side of your box, extend the clipping mask till it reaches the outside bleed of the die line. With a white arrow, you can drag the image and position it however you want within the clipping mask. To apply the logo to the topmost part of the box, copy it and rotate it by 180 degrees. Position it by simply dragging it. If you wish you can use a couple of rectangles to help you align the box at the exact center of the flap, both vertically and horizontally. Once you're done, go to File. Save As. Save the file after selecting the high-quality print Adobe PDF preset. Finally, click Save PDF.